Here with men's hockey coach Bill Moore. Coach uh, kicked off the season, the uh, conference season last weekend against St. Thomas, uh, 3-1 and 3-0 losses. But really the games seemed to be a lot closer than the final score indicated. From a coaching standpoint, uh, talk a little bit about last weekend against the Tommies. Well, I think Friday was a, was a very good game for us. We had a one nothing lead going into the third period. Um, I think our biggest issue is that we have to learn to win. And we have to learn to play relaxed when we're in those situations. Um, we've got to make sure that we keep our emotions under control. Um, we just made a couple of mistakes this weekend, and good teams capitalize on the mistakes. I think Saturday was a prime example of that. We played back and forth really solid, and all of a sudden we don't cover a guy in the slot, and it's in the back of our net. Two minutes later, we don't cover a guy in the slot, and it's in the back of our net. Later on in the second, we defenseman's carrying the puck up, loses an edge, falls, they go in on a breakaway and score. And that was it. I mean, three very, very correctable mistakes, and it would have been a 0-0 game. So um, we competed hard. We played physical. Um, we did a lot of very, very good things. But at some point, we have to convert. And uh, the road certainly doesn't get any easier for you. Uh, this weekend, you're in non-conference play, but you've got UW-Superior and UW-Stevens Point here at the St. Mary's Ice Arena. Talk a little bit about the weekend in terms of, uh, of what you expect from both of those teams and, and what we can expect from the Cardinals. Well, I think the biggest thing is, is any time you play in teams in the WIAC, you're going to expect a much more physical game. Um, the, it's just a different brand, different style. I think it's nice for us that we play at home and we can spread them out a little bit more on the big sheet of ice. But um, it'll be a much more physical game. It'll be a lot of chippiness after the whistles. It will be jawing back and forth. It's all stuff we don't normally see in an MIAC contest, but um, it, it's just a little bit different style of play. And obviously, Stevens Point comes in on Saturday, one of the, the top teams in the nation. They're ranked number six in the country, scoring a lot of goals. They played uh, Gustavus and St. Olaf last weekend, scored eight goals in both of those games. Uh, how do you shut down a team like that, uh, aside from having uh, Christian Gaffey stand on his head and, and play the way he's been playing? Well, I think the important part of it isn't that we play really good defense. It's that we establish a, a strong forecheck. If we're playing in the offensive end, we take away their scoring opportunities. And uh, right now that was a, an issue with us at times this weekend is that we weren't getting into their defensemen quick enough and they were up. St. Thomas was up and out of the zone too quickly. We need to spend more time in the offensive zone so that we don't have to play defense quite so much. But I think the biggest thing is staying out of the penalty box. We've had a habit this year of reaching with our sticks and still to having an adjustment period of the new rule interpretations and we've got to stay out of stay out of the box against those teams because if we give them power play opportunities we're going to put ourselves behind the eight ball two non-conference games this weekend uw superior uw stevens point both games at seven o'clock here at the smu ice arena good luck coach thank you